My friends, today we gather here to remember and to honor Saint Jerome, who translated the Bible from Greek and Hebrew into Latin, making sacred scripture a little bit more available to more people. The printing press also made scripture more available, as did the introduction of the vernacular in our liturgy by the Second Vatican Council. Each time the mysteries of our faith are made more available to all, there certainly is new energy, more energy, and more consciousness flowing into our Christian life. The gospel is for everyone, and in God's eyes, the least are the greatest of all. St. Jerome once said, ignorance of scripture is ignorance of Christ. To read the word is to encounter Jesus and grow in relationship with him. My friends, we are literally formed by God's word as we listen to it. And, where, and when we're invited at the mass to say the Lord's Prayer, in, in this prayer, I believe that we kind of sum up the good news of what it means to be a disciple. The petitions of the Lord's Prayer position, position us to, first of all, make God's name holy, then to accept the mission to make God's kingdom come into our world and to be done so that heaven will also come to us on this earth. Daily bread and forgiveness keep us from temptation and protect us from all evil. Yes, formed by God's word, we become God's people. In today's gospel, Jesus sends his disciples ahead of him to proclaim God's word. They hardly need anything except the hospitality from those who welcome them and feed them and listen to them. Whoever hears the word is blessed by it. And when we hear the word, we see we are then to share it with others. Like St. Jerome, if we live the word, we translate it into action, and we invite others to do the same.